Oh, hi guys, it's Jessica again. Um, I'm so glad I'm filming this video from iMovie because honestly, I just filmed two videos and I'm lagging the whole time and it sucks. Oh, awkward, there's my phone ringing, whatever. Okay, so today I have a huge makeup haul. Like, I've never bought this much makeup in my life. I don't know if you could see all of it. Yes, okay. Um, I've just really felt like buying makeup because I feel like I don't buy makeup anymore. So I feel bad. So I'm like, okay, let me just buy more makeup. So yeah, this I've accumulated over a couple of months. So yeah, I'll just get started. I'll actually start with nail polish because that's the easiest. Um, most of this stuff, by the way, is from like, I got everything from either like Mac, Target, um, some stuff from CCO, something from Victoria's Secret. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I'll start with nail polish. I bought this nail polish today and I'm obsessed with it. Um, it's Sally Hansen's Hidden Treasure. No, it's not the it's not the flaky Hidden Treasure. It's a new Hidden Treasure, which I'm really mad about, but whatever, it's still really pretty. I actually put it on my ring finger, just one coat over my pink nail polish and I think it gives like really pretty shine. So yeah. And then my friend gave me, because she felt bad that I got surgery, so she gave me, um, two nail polishes, which I'm in love with. I haven't used yet, but I need to because they're like beautiful. Um, Turquoise and Caicos by Essie, and it's such a pretty like sea foam minty green color. I love it. And Essie Luxe Effects in Set in Stones, which is just like a bunch of silver glitter, and I love it. And that's it for nail polish. Um, I'll just go like with random stuff um, from Walls, from like stuff from Target. Um, okay, so I got today from Target this new face wash because I have really dry skin and I needed a good face wash to like really exfoliate my skin. And also now that my nose has been really flaky lately, so hopefully this will like take off the flakes. It's Aveeno Smart Essentials Daily Depo Detoxifying Scrub. And yeah, it smells actually really good. It smells like, I don't know how to explain it. It just smells really clean, like just something clean. Um, and then also today I got from Target. I was like obsessed with this color because I actually just looked on Stay Beautiful Exo's video and I'm like, oh my God, I need this eyeshadow. So I literally went out to Target and bought it, whatever. <laughs> um, and it's the Infallible Eyeshadow in Amber Rush. Yeah, Amber Rush. It's like this really, really pretty amber, um, kind of like rose gold color and I cannot wait to use it. I haven't even swatched it yet because I couldn't get the cap open. So yeah, hopefully that won't be an issue. Um, and then lip butters. I'm absolutely and so much in love with the Revlon lip butters. I have four of them, but one of them's at my cousin's house and she forgot to give that to me. So yeah, it was in Candy Apple. It's like a really pretty red color. I wore it yesterday for 4th of July. Um, and here's my other three ones that I have. I have them in Gumdrop, Peach Parfait, and Strawberry Shortcake. I have Strawberry Shortcake on my lips right now. I just mentioned I use this one in my um, outfit of the day. Um, and then I have Peach Parfait. It's so beautiful. It's like my, it's like a lips but better color. And it's a shimmery, peachy color. And it's, I cannot wait to wear it. Actually, I'm going to swatch three, all three. I really hope this video doesn't end up being really long. Okay, this is Peach Parfait. Um, Gumdrop is like a purple and it actually comes off pink when you like put it on a lot, but I love it a lot. But, like right now, if you could tell, it just looks like a purple. And I love lilac um, lip colors. I find them really flattering on me. And then this is Strawberry Shortcake. It's the one, it's like the brightest pink. It's like a, I think it's like a blue toned pink. And I like it. At first, I really didn't like it at all. I was like, oh my god, this is so ugly. But now that I start wearing it a lot more, it looks really good. Um, and next from Target, I got the falsies. Um, and just like the blackest black. Honestly, I didn't know the brush was going to be this curved. Like, I don't know if this is a defect or something, but look at it. It's like really curvy. And when I put on my eyelashes, it's like weird. I don't know. But besides that, now that's like drying up a lot more, I actually like it a lot more than when it was like really wet when I first got it. So yeah, I'd say it's all right. Like it's not the best mascara I've ever used. My favorite mascara personally is the Dial Up by All Night. And they actually sell at Dollar Tree now. So whoop whoop. Um, that was weird. And then I got this because I needed a new liquid liner. I got the Carbon Black Liner Intense 
by L'Oreal. I actually never really bought anything from L'Oreal, but now I have two things. And I actually really like this. I have it on my eyes right now. I don't know if you could tell, but it's really, really black. But the thing is, I feel like the tube is empty. And this is maybe like the 10th time I've used it. I don't know. But it's still coming out black, you know? But I just feel like it's going to be running out soon. Um, and the last three things from Target. I got a new e.l.f. eyebrow kit. And this one's in medium. I actually had my first one in light because I thought it was really, really light dark. But I actually like it because I kind of like the whole look of dark eye eyebrows because my hair is dark, you know? So yeah, I pretty much just use the waxy part. And then the powder, I actually used it in my crease today. I hope that's not like, like I hope it's safe. Um, And then I got another one, a repurchase of the Dream Smooth Mousse. And this one's in 250. And it's kind of a little darker than my face, but it's my exact skin tone on my skin. So I'd rather match like my skin like head to toe and it's so creamy and I'm obsessed with it. I just hate the way it smells. Like this smells really bad. I, I think this is just this one because my one before smelled perfectly fine. Okay, I need to keep on going. Um, I got this a while ago, but I love it. The Dream Bouncy Blush in Pink Frosting. I actually used a lot of it because I don't really have blushes. So I wanted to buy this and I actually have it on right now. And it's so pretty. I love it. Um. And that's it from Target. So my last few things, um, my, oh, okay, that was awkward. My mom went to a CCO and she brought this home for me because she's like, oh, I don't know what to buy you. So she just bought me this. It's MAC Pro Lash, whoops, MAC Pro Lash in cold black. I don't know. That's all it says. It's good though. I like it. Um, I, I feel like it was, I had a different name, like something sells, like faux sills. I don't know, but I actually like it a lot. The brush is kind of puny though. I'm not a fan of the brush, but it kind of gets the job done, you know? Yeah, that's it. Um, I actually layered my falsies over this because I feel like it doesn't give me enough volume because I'm really a volume girl. Um, and then my, this is from Victoria's Secret. My mom got it for me. I don't know. I actually can't get it open. I'm really mad. It has this kabuki brush, which is, it's all right, soft. It just feels like coarse hair, you know? And it's like this bronzer, like this loose bronzing powder. And apparently, I think it's like, if you open it, some stuff comes out. But when I brush it on my hands, it's like barely any shimmer. So there's definitely something wrong with this. I have to figure out how to get it. But what I like is that it closes. So you could have like a really defined um contour, which I like a lot. Um, and then my last two things are from Sephora. I actually really don't buy that much from Sephora. I usually buy from like the Sephora line because I honestly can't really afford like the really expensive stuff. So I got this bronzer because I was in desperate need of a bronzer because I gave my mom um, my e.l.f. contouring and blush kit, which I was obsessed with, but I thought it was too orange, so I needed a new one. So I got this blush and it's a completely matte bronzer. It's not orange at all. Apparently it's for lighter skin tones than me though, but I actually really like it because it gives like a really natural contour. It's all the way at the end of my hand. Yeah, but I actually really like it a lot because it gives like a really subtle, subtle, subtle um, definition and it has a really good mirror. So yeah, and this was like only $15. And this is in Los Cabos, if that's how you say it. And then my last item is this bad boy. It's freaking huge. Um, this was on in the sale section at Sephora and it was seven dollars and I was like, okay, you know what? I really need blush because I don't have that many blushes. So I got it. But then now that I have it, it feels more like a bronzer than a blush. But it's one of those things that kind of reminds me of the Bobbi Brown shimmer strips and holy crap, look how big this mirror is. You can see me. Oh, hey. But um, it's just really like really very, okay really varied and different colors that you could use. Like I pretty much just use a brush and mix it all together. Or actually today I use these two because they're like a really pretty highlighter. But what I like a lot is this really, I don't know how to explain it. It's almost like a gray color, but when you put it on your hand, it comes out as like a metallic brownish color. And okay, I'm gonna put my finger down all of this and just mix it and show you how it looks. And it has, it's just like a really pretty color, you know? So yeah, it's like a really like, I don't know, it's like dramatic. If you have really light skin, I, oh, you see that? If you have really light skin, I wouldn't recommend this because it's really dark. 
And yeah, so I'd say if you have like dark skin, like you're a dark skin person, that you would love this because it has really pretty dark like plum colors. Probably came out in like the winter line. But yeah, my actually one of my other favorite colors is this one. And it's really soft. Oh no, my computer's gonna run out of time. It's this color. Ah. This one. They all kind of look similar, but whatever. Um, that's my haul. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'm gonna hopefully make a few more videos. I don't know about today, but in the next week. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.